welcome back to English for You. We are back again here with more, with more ice cream. Yes,、mm. I love it. Yes, me too. All right, we have a few more fun facts about ice cream, Winnie. Nice. Would you like、I、to hear some? I love to learn anything about ice cream. Okay. Well, it says the largest ice cream cone. Okay,、yes, the largest the one was nine feet tall. It's like three meters almost. Wow! And it was scooped in Italy.、Mm. Why would you make? Why would you <laughs> not want such a okay, big ice cream? That's true. <laughs>、ah. Okay, if you have a single serving of ice cream, so、yes. one scoop, one scoop of、okay. ice cream.、Mm-hmm. How many licks do you think it takes to eat the ice cream? I don't know. It probably takes me like. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Probably a hundred licks. Yeah, maybe. But scientists have found out that it takes about fifty licks. People actually th- count that. Yeah, yes. <laughs> okay. Fifty licks. That's important science. Okay. All right. Here's one more fact. Brain freeze. Yes, yes, we、um, all get that. When you、right? eat ice cream and your brain goes、It's、like、ah! too cold, that happens when the ice cream touches the top of your mouth.、Uh-huh. But you can stop it by taking your tongue、mm-hmm. and touching the top of your mouth with your tongue, because that、oh. warms it up. Mm-hmm. I need to take notes of that. Yes, you guys all need to remember that important ice cream fact, so that next time you eat it, you don't get brain freeze. Right. All right. Well, we have one more ice cream fact for you guys today. Let's get started. Reading. Fun facts. Everyone loves a Sunday. A large scoop of ice cream topped with whipped cream, chocolate sauce, and peanuts. Maybe it even has two scoops and some fruit on top. But how did it get such a strange name? Some historians say that the Sunday was invented to avoid the Sunday laws. These laws would not allow people to work or sell certain items on the most religious day, Sunday. In some parts of the U.S., an ice cream float was considered too fancy to serve on the day people attended church. To get around the law, one shop owner served ice cream with the float's chocolate sauce on top. Some people wanted to call it an ice cream sundae, but this might have bothered Christians, so the spelling was changed to sundae. The history books aren't clear as to whether this story is true. Regardless, it's easy to believe that a Sunday must have gotten its unusual name from this kind of event. All right, one of my favorite desserts here. Not my favorite. Not pie. It's not pie. Okay, what's what's this? It is a pretty tasty dessert. is made of ice cream,、mm-hmm. and it says here in our article, everyone loves a Sunday, a large scoop of ice cream topped with whipped cream. Chocolate uh-huh, sauce uh-huh. and peanuts,、oh. and maybe a cherry on top. <laughs> Sunday 就是我们音译过来的圣诞。后面解释圣诞呢，就是 a large scoop of ice cream。我们又看到我们昨天学的 scoop 当名词表示一大球的冰淇淋，上面还有 whipped cream 发泡奶油。这里我们看到 be topped with something 常用来描述食物，上面还覆盖着什么什么的意思。所以我们知道圣诞上面通常会有奶油啊，巧克力酱，有些还会有。Peanuts.、Mm, so, what is a peanut? A peanut is a light brown nut that grows in a shell. Now, often there are two or three peanuts that grow in one shell,、mm-hmm. and you might know them because the shell is kind of shaped a little bit like an eight, I guess, if you、oh, think about、yeah. it. And、uh, it's soft and brown, and you just kind of have to press it, and it'll crack open.、Yeah. All right, here's an example. Peanuts are used in a lot of Thai dishes, so if you can't eat them, you need to tell the waiter. Hmm, peanut 就是花生。那如果你对花生过敏 ，it's common to see people who are allergic to、mm-hmm. peanuts. So if you are, you need to be extra careful when you go to a Thai restaurant.、Mm. 那蛮常听到有人就是会对花生过敏，所以如果你也是的话，一定要把这个字学起来。还有很常见的像是 peanut butter， 就是花生奶油，也就是花生酱啦。So you need to. 
avoid this too.、Mm. I know there are lots of different types of Sunday too. That's right. You don't need to have peanuts on your Sunday.、Mm. I actually prefer no peanuts on my Sunday. Yeah, you don't like、mm. nuts, right? I do like nuts. I just don't like them in ice cream.、Mm. <laughs> That's me being strange. But here's an interesting fact. If you feed a very small child, like a、yeah. baby or a toddler, peanuts,、mm -hmm. they probably won't be allergic to them later in life.、Oh. It's the children who don't get peanuts when they're young that become allergic. That probably makes sense. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, lots of different types of Sundays. If you can't eat peanuts, that's fine. Have your Sunday without peanuts, like me. <laughs> Here it says. Maybe it even has two scoops,、Ooh. and with some fruit on top. Ah,、mm, that's、like、your favorite. Bananas, <laughs> yeah, bananas and cherries. 或者是水果口味的 On top of the ice cream, 这里的 top 就是我们知道名词的用法。所以今天课文里刚好两种看用法，我们都有看到。So whichever kind of Sunday you prefer,、mm -hmm. you might have the same question that the article asks next.、Mm -hmm. But how did it get such a strange name? True Sunday. Sunday. Why do we call it the same as the day of the week? Hmm.、Oh, well, I think our article is probably gonna. To tell us, <laughs> it says here. Some historians say that the Sunday was invented to avoid the Sunday laws. Now, the Sunday laws that is spelled S U N D A Y. Sunday.、Mm -hmm. um, whereas our ice cream Sunday is spelled S U N D A E.、Mm. But before we talk about that mix-up in spelling, let's talk about historians. These are People who study history or very specific things or events from history. So usually historians won't study all of history, but they'll choose sort of one time in、oh, history or、yeah. one event in history to study. Here's an example. My father is a historian, and he works at a local war museum. Cool. 我们看到 historian 这个字前面有 history 就是历史，后面加上 i a n 有人的意思。像我们学过有些动词加上 e r 表示做这件事的人，这也可以顺便学起来加上 i a n 的字尾。像这里看到 historian 就是历史人。那也就是历史学家的意思啦，或者呢 ，librarian 就是 library 图书馆加上 i a n 字尾变来，也就是指图书馆员。回到文章啊，解释“圣代”这名字的由来，有些历史学家说，“圣代”是因为要躲避 the Sunday laws。What are Sunday laws? Okay, good question,、mm. Winnie. All right, let's find out what these Sunday laws are. It says these laws would not allow people to work. Or sell certain items on the most religious day, Sunday. Okay. okay. So some items can be for sale,、mm -hmm. like if maybe if it's an emergency and you need to go to the doctor and get some medicine, that's probably okay. But、mm -hmm. certain items are not okay、hmm. to buy on Sundays. And this is in the past.、That's、of course,、really、it's not really true now. Imagine it. <laughs> yeah. Well, what is an item? An item is a single thing, often when talked about in relation to a group of other things or a list of things. So, for instance, if I have a shopping list with five things written on it, I could say that each of those things is an item.、Mm -hmm. I have five items on my list. Here's an example. If you have more than ten items, you can't use the fast lane at the grocery store. 嗯、mm, ，item 就是项目、品项的意思，通常用于像刚刚我们说清单上或者一系列同种东西的其中一项。那例句就是像有些卖场会有快速柜台，但是如果你买超过十项东西，那就不能使用这种柜台，不然快速柜台就不快了嘛。那而文章呢，就是进一步解释所谓这个 Sunday laws， 因为周日在西方是个很具有宗教意义的一天，也就是 religious 这个形容词，所以以前有法律规定不能做啊，或是不能卖某些产品。Because Sunday used to be considered the most religious day,、mm -hmm. doing some certain things is not respectful to God. That's right. And is eating ice cream one of those things? Well, I have lived with some Sunday laws, never ones with ice cream,、mm -hmm. but. Of course, you know, in, in when I was growing up, Sunday was always the day we went to church. Yes, and 
you know, sometimes to my grandmother's house for lunch and stuff. So it was a day where you weren't supposed to work, you weren't supposed to have fun, you were supposed to think about God and pray and mm -hmm. worship and, and spend time with family and that sort of thing. So it says here, in some parts of the U.S., an ice cream float was considered too fancy ah. to serve on the day people attended church. So Saturday, okay. <laughs> Sunday, mm, that's not, not respectful so to God. No. Yeah. So we see ice cream float, which is floating ice cream. Float 本身就有漂浮的意思，所以那种在可能可乐啊、汽水上加上冰淇淋，我们就可以用 float. And it is a pretty fancy drink. It's pretty tasty. <laughs> that you can too. Get them, so you can get them at some places in Taipei. I've seen them before. Yeah. Hmm, but it's pretty. Fancy. Now here, fancy is an adjective that describes something that's meant to impress people, often because it's expensive or it's special in some way. All right. So if I said, "Why do you have such a fancy suit on?" I thought we were just going to the movies. You know, I don't know. Maybe if you're all dressed up, you've got a nice tie to or a pretty, pretty dress. Sort of thing, and then you just go sit in a dirty movie theater in popcorn and soda.、Mm. Get dirty. Yeah, <laughs> fancy 就是我们一般口语说这样很浮夸、很奇花这样，就是形容很花巧。也可以像例句一样来形容服装很时髦，或者指餐厅啊，或者餐点很高级。例如说 ，Jack took Rose to a fancy restaurant for her birthday, and we are saying an ice cream float is too fancy to serve on this day. That's right. So we used a phrase there to. Something to something、mm -hmm. too fancy to serve is how we used it in the article. Now we use this phrase to. We start with to t o o and then to t o to say that something is more than possible or more than acceptable in some way. So in this phrase, we combine it with an adjective or an adverb, and to t o to give more of an idea of what is more than possible or acceptable. So for instance, if I say it's too hot to run, then you know that the weather is so hot that it is not possible to run. No, that was like don't do that all summer for me, <laughs> right? Okay, here's another example. Do you have a sweater I can borrow? It's too cold to just wear a T-shirt. 我帮大家复习一下 too too 的用法，意思就是太怎么样，以至于不能怎么样。注意用法是第一个 too t o o 后面要加形容词，第二个 too 呢不定词后面加原形动词。所以整句课文意思就是因为礼拜天应该是很虔诚的一天。We know that people usually go to church on Sunday.、Mm -hmm. 这里有没有看到用 attend 这个动词指上教堂 ？So something like an ice cream float is too fancy on this day. 嗯、mm、哼 -hmm. ，So no no. Oh, ice cream floats, but <laughs> but there's always somebody who wants to make some money on Sunday. That's very smart.、Mm -hmm. And it says here to get around the law, one shop owner served ice cream with the floats chocolate sauce on top. So maybe、oh. not mixing it together, not making an ice cream float, but putting chocolate on top of the ice cream.、Mm. Now that's not a float. So it's not against the law. So that's fine. Mm-hmm. We're gonna learn more about that here with this phrase "get around." Okay. So we saw that a shop owner got around the law by doing something. Now, the phrase "get around" means to avoid something difficult or unpleasant so that you don't have to deal with the problems it might cause. Now, when you get around a law, you find a way to avoid following the law without. Breaking it, you don't want to break the law. You just want to kind of do something that is not against the law, but it's still kind of helping you fix your problem. So what these shop owners did was not to serve the float that's against the law. We don't want to break it, but they still served ice cream just with chocolate. Not as fancy, so not really breaking the law. Now the shop owner avoids the problem of breaking the law, but still gets to sell some items. Here's another example. TV companies want people to pay to watch their shows, but people sometimes find ways to get around paying. Get around 这个片语啊，很口语，就是很常见的说法，指回避问题，其实就是有一种钻漏洞的意思。可以想成法律法律挡在这边，但我们绕个道 ，get around it. And how did they do that? They、mm -hmm. served. 
ice cream with chocolate sauce on top. Mm, there's no soda. Mm -mm. Mm. It's, just, it's not a float. It's just chocolate ice cream, you know.、Mm. So what did they do? They served something with something. Now this is another phrase we can look at. And when one thing is served with another thing, such as two foods,、mm -hmm. they come together or at the same time. So here, ice cream is put together with chocolate sauce. So we can say they are served together.、Uh. Here's another example. This chicken dish is served with rice and soup. Serve 本身动词就有服务、上菜的意思。另外，我们也常见 serve A with B 这个片语，套用在菜单的语言就会是 A 菜上左有 B 的提味啊，或是调味，也或者是 A 料理配上 B 这个食材，很常像例句一样会以被动的句型呈现。那套回课文其实就是。冰淇淋淋上巧克力酱，因为这个法律禁止啊，所以有些餐厅呢就想说，哎、欸，既然不能卖漂浮饮料，那我在冰淇淋加上漂浮饮料的酱料就不算违法了吧 ？So that's how they get around the law. Hmm. Okay. Well, here's where we're getting to the name.、Uh -huh. Okay. Now, some people wanted to call it an ice cream sundae, s u n d a y, but This might have bothered Christians.、Mm, someday, no.、Uh, I mean, if you want more people to eat your dessert on a Sunday, don't call it something that people who are trying to worship God、mm. will get mad at, right? They are bothered. Exactly. They might get bothered by the name. Now, bother is a verb, and when something bothers people, it annoys them, upsets them, or makes them feel worried about something. Now, using the word Sunday, S U N D A Y, to talk about this treat might have upset some Christians, because Sunday is supposed to be a day of rest and to worship God. They might have thought that people weren't treating God in the proper way, not giving Him respect, if the treat was spelled the same day as the holy day. Here's an example. It really bothers me when other people start talking before I finished my sentence. Thankfully, I didn't do that. You didn't. <laughs> bother 不是兄弟这个 brother， 差一个字差很多、哦。Bother 当动词有打扰或使人感到困扰的意思。常用 don't bother 就是客气回复别人说，哎，不用麻烦了啦。比方别人如果说 ，Hey, do you need me to pick up anything for you for Seven、mm. Eleven?、Mm. 你可能就会说 ，Oh, don't bother. I have brought lunch with me. 我有带午餐了。Mm. 或者也会看到 ，Why bother? 点点点这样的句型，中文类似就是何苦的意思。我们可以再造一句哦。Why bother to shop at a mall when you can buy everything online? 网络上都可以买到所有东西，何必上街呢？所以回到课文，如果说这道甜点取名为 Ice Cream Sunday， 可能会冒犯到某些基督徒。And we all know. How the story ended. That's right, Winnie. They changed the spelling. So it says here in our article. So the spelling was changed to Sunday. S U N D A E. 当然，这种名称的由来总是众说纷纭。As the article says, the history books aren't clear as to whether this story is true. That's right. Okay, so it says as to something. We said as to whether this story is true.、Mm -hmm. Now, as to is sort of a fancy phrase, fancy、mm, or formal. It's a way of saying concerning or simply what we usually use in English about. It's not used that much in daily English, and you'll only really hear it when someone is trying to be very formal, such as if you're in a court or in a business、uh, setting, something like that. You could also say something like this: The history books aren't clear about whether this story is true. As to 多半用在很正式或是书面上，意思是关于，所以也就是一般我们常用的 about 或是 concerning 的同义字。关于什么呢？关于什么历史？你是没有定论的呢？后面我们用 whether 连接子句当做 as to 的受词。这里 whether 是连接词，表示是否的意思。后面引导的名词子句作为受词，也就是究竟这个故事是否为真，历史并没有定论。我们可以再造一句哦。I couldn't tell whether the judges liked me or not. 这时候 or not 可以省略，所以我们也可以做个笔记哦。Whether 引导名词子句做受词时，可以搭配 or not， 也可以省略。我们可以再看一句 ，Phoebe was wondering whether she should break up with her boyfriend or not， 可以省略，就翻译成 Phoebe 呢在思考是否应该跟男友分手。Okay, so Winnie. 
It might not be a true story,、mm -hmm. but the article continues and says, regardless, it's easy to believe that a Sunday must have gotten its unusual name from this kind of event. So whether we know it's true or not, it's kind of easy to think about it this it way,、sense. right? <laughs> and that's why we use the word regardless, this adverb. Now we use this adverb to show that one thing does not necessarily affect or influence another thing. Now here we're saying that even though even though this story about ice cream sundays might not be true, it's still easy to believe,、mm. right? So whether or not this is where the name came from, it's easy to believe, and so people often just do believe it. Right. All right. Here's an example. Henry had told us that he would be here today. Regardless, it seems we have to go on without him.、Oh. Regardless, 副词意思是无论如何，不管怎么样，常用在句首，然后加个逗点，修饰整句。另外，我们也会看到 regardless of 的固定用法。这时候后面呢要接名词，因为我们是把它当做介系词片语。例如 ，regardless of age, everyone has to pay a fee to join the event.、Mm -hmm. 不论年纪，每个人都得付费才能参加活动。两个意思有点接近，但是用法不太一样，所以帮大家补充一下。Okay, Winnie. I need to go eat a bowl of ice cream.、Uh, How me about、too. you? All right. Well, we can't get that ice cream just yet. We're going to finish today with our for you chat. For you chat. All right. Welcome back to for you chat. Our question today. What do you think about people who try to get around rules? When is this a good thing, and when is it a bad thing to do? We're not talking more about desserts. Well, okay,、oh, no, not really. Would you try to get around the Sunday laws if it were you? To sell it or to eat it? Either. I might because、yeah. I just love ice cream.、Mm. Mm. I mean, here's the thing: when I grew up in my in my province in Canada,、yeah. we had Sunday laws. Really? Yeah. So a lot of shops and restaurants weren't allowed to be open, sort of thing. But when I was young, I was also very a good a good Christian girl, <laughs> and I didn't. Did you break, try to get didn't around? Didn't break many、law? rules. But now that I'm an adult, if I had to have Sunday laws again, I probably would. Because ice cream's just so、It's, good. I mean, if you're gonna tell me I can't have ice cream on Sunday, then I don't. You just say I'm just gonna、no. have to do it. Yeah. So what? Why is it? When is a good thing? When is a bad thing? Sometimes I think it's a good thing. If as long as it doesn't hurt as people, as long as you're not hurting someone、right? else, I guess.、Mm. And、um, you know, as long as as long as you're not putting anyone in danger or、mm. you're not. Ruining something for somebody. Everyone has different beliefs, so in a situation like that, I would say it's probably okay. Yeah,、I、wouldn't say it's maybe good or bad. I'd say it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is. All right. Well, what do you guys think? An interesting question. Have you tried to get around the rules before? Do you think it's a good thing? When is it a bad thing to do? You guys can talk about it. But we are saying goodbye. So for English for you, I'm Erin. I'm Winnie. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Fun facts. Everyone loves a Sunday, a large scoop of ice cream topped with whipped cream, chocolate sauce, and peanuts. Maybe it even has two scoops and some fruit on top. But how did it get such a strange name? Some historians say that the Sunday was invented to avoid the Sunday laws. These laws would not allow people to work or sell certain items on the most religious day, Sunday. In some parts of the U.S., an ice cream float was considered too fancy to serve on the day people attended church. To get around the law, one shop owner served ice cream with the float's chocolate sauce on top. Some people wanted to call it an ice cream Sunday, but this might have bothered Christians. So the spelling was changed to Sunday. The history books aren't clear as to whether this story is true. Regardless, it's easy to believe that a Sunday must have gotten its unusual name from this kind of event. Vocabulary review. Peanut. One of my favorite dishes. Is Thai noodles with chicken and peanuts. 
historian. On this radio show, you can hear historians talking about certain events in the past. Item. If you have fewer than fifteen items in your shopping cart, you can use the express lane. Fancy. Lyle decided to live a simpler life, so he sold his fancy car and just took buses and trains. Bother. My neighbor's loud music bothers me, but she won't turn it down. Regardless, regardless of the weather, we'll be having Arthur's birthday party outside tomorrow. 智慧小补帖 Whipped cream, ice cream float. <音楽>以上节目是由活用空中美语制作。活用空中美语杂志，请洽询全国各大书店。如欲索取试听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。